In this video, we're going to have a statistical investigation on roller coasters developed over the past 100 years. We're using 157 roller coasters for this investigation that are spread out over the US, as you can see in this map. So the little red dots are corresponding with one of the roller coasters that are in the table. Now keep in mind this is not the number of all roller coasters that are in the US. This is just a sample. Just like how in hospitals they take a sample of your blood to conduct blood work because it's impossible to test all your blood. Similarly in statistics, it is too time consuming and too costly to collect data and conduct statistical tests on the whole population. So what we do is we look at a sample. For this statistical investigation, we will be using the Common Online Data Analysis Platform, also known as CODAP. And we will be investigating how fast do roller coasters tend to be. Now, before we attempt to answer this question, let's explore the information that we have about each roller coaster. So we have this table, and we're given different information associated with each roller coaster. Note how our data have numerical attributes or quantitative, which represents a measurement that can be expressed with a number, like the top speed, the maximum height. Now also, we have qualitative or categorical attributes that can be described with words or numbers, like the design, which tell us how a passenger is positioned in the roller coaster, either sitting down, inverted, flying, or the type, which talks about the material of the track, either steel or wooden. So we're going to start this investigation. Again, we are examining the speed of roller coasters. Um, we're gonna open a graph and we're going to pull the maximum speed because that's what our question again is requiring us to investigate. We're gonna look at the speed. So I'm gonna hold the speed column and drop it on the graph. Now what I have here is a frequency distribution of the speed of roller coasters in miles per hour. One thing we can do is we can look at adding information to this graph. So we can add a plot box. I like to add a plot box because it kind of gives me an idea of the distribution and I also add the mean. This helps me see the difference between the mean and the median, which they're not that different. So that kind of gives me an idea that this is a normal distribution. We know that normal distributions occur when the mean, median, and mode are equal. That is also clear by the bell shape of the distribution, the frequency distribution. Now, since we're going to compare if there are differences between the top speed of older, newer, or more recent roller coasters, I'm going to have to drag the age group here, which was added um, to distinguish between older roller coasters or roller coasters built before 1980, recent roller coasters, which are roller coasters that have been built between 1980 and 2000, and newer roller coasters, and that is roller coasters that have been built since 2000. So again, in CODAP, we always look at the statistical investigations through graphs. So I'm gonna drag the high speed. So I'm going to drag the top speed. Now, since the question here tells us to look at the difference between the speed of older, newer, or more recent roller coasters, we're going to drag the age group on the y-axis here. This will give us three different um, distributions each associated with the year, older, recent, and newest. Now I can do something similar to what I did before. 
which is adding the plot box and also adding the mean. Now, in all of these, um, it does look like the distribution is normal, where majority of the roller coasters um, reach a higher speed in, on average, if it was an older roller coaster, um, at 50 mile per hour. If it, it was if it was recently built, it reaches a maximum speed, roughly approximately, since the median and the mean are not equal. We also have outliers or extreme values here, where the top speed is 100 miles per hour. And for the newest ones, we're looking at a top speed of 66 miles per hour. They're evenly distributed, again, almost all of them, um, with just a little bit of variation when it comes to the recent um, built roller coaster. So that makes me want to look at the standard deviations, which is looking at how much of the how much of the data is contained within one standard deviations away from the mean. So when I try to look at if there are any differences between the top speed, yes, it looks like they are. Um, one of the first differences is the shift in our mean uh, with more of the newest roller coasters having on average a higher speed. A higher maximum speed. Um, but in addition to the shift, we also have some overlap. So the top speed of the recently built roller coasters are still contained within one standard deviations away from the mean um, from the mean of the newest roller coasters. Um, and also there is some overlap with um, the roller coasters that were built um, before 1980s. So while on average newest roller coasters tend to be faster than m ones that were built recently or prior to 1980s, there's still some there's still some significant overlap, at least with the one standard deviations data being with having significant overlap if we're looking at one standard deviations away from the mean for the newest um, roller coasters.